hi guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing a wash and go I am using the Camille Rose mousse as my topper today so far um, it has slip I can't really figure out how much raking and smoothing I should do because I haven't used a mousse for a wash and go in <laughs> a while so my base gel I have on is UFD I already put it on in the shower so it's already applied I've already finished the entire back of my head and I'm gonna continue with some of this on camera and then I'm gonna dry my hair under the dryer I'll see how long it takes because the whole purpose of this wash and go is to cut down my drying time for today I'm gonna Bump. So first I'm putting it over the entire section. It's so much I'm always having. So that's why I kind of can't gauge how much I need to use because I always, for this wash and go, I'm just having a whole bunch just all over the place. So I can't really gauge to how much I need for, for each section. So I still prefer using um, a little shower brush to go through my hair. I just like the feeling of going through my hair a last one more time before I actually rake and smooth. I just like it better. The only thing I'm worried about is not knowing if I need more product. It's hard to feel or gauge if I need more product on this section, the sections I do. But we'll see. So with using the mousse, it feels like I don't need to rake as much, but who knows? I have never used this mousse for a wash and go. I've only used the mousse stuff for a wash and go um, before, and that was a long time ago that I used mousse stuff, a long time ago. So I actually don't remember how mousse stuff feels, so I will definitely have to, when this one, is completely finished not really completely finished I have maybe one more use and I like having a backup so I am gonna try the mousse def um, I'm gonna try that for my next um, time the next time I use a mousse to do my wash and go okay so these are the last pieces So guys, I am finished um, applying the mousse. All I have to say, it's quite messy. <laughs> I'm gonna sit under the dryer and get my hair dried. I will do a spin to let you see how it looks. Dried my hair under the dryer. The roots were still not dry, so I had to take my Dyson out and I had to do my roots. I think because I haven't done a wash and go in a little bit that I put too much water. I definitely had too much water. So this is what it's looking like. It's very, very soft. Um, it kind of feels like when I do my hair with Inner Sense and UFD, that's what it feels like. It's just very soft and it's, there's absolutely no crunch, like no crunch. So I'm not certain how long this wash and go is gonna last, but it doesn't matter. As I mentioned, I, I'm gonna start washing my hair twice a week. So today is Thursday, so I'll wash my hair again on Monday. Hi guys, this is day two of my wash and go.
my actual first wash and go after my cut and i am loving it hey guys this is saturday and this is day three of my wash and go so this wash and go is kind of like a innocent topper so that's something good to know for me so, but this is what it looks like guys i gotta rush my sun swim lesson <laughs> bye <laughs> this is day four of my wash and go with the camille rose um mousse as the topper and i changed my buff because i was working outside yesterday in the garden and i do not wear stuff that i work outside with like that that's covered in sweat on my hair um i just change it out okay i'm just giving a quick fluff it's still very soft but um this will not last long term in a humid condition so yeah yeah it's very very soft and fluffy that's nice very sh shakes a lot but yeah so this is camille rose and ufd i don't know what the back is i'm gonna fluff keep fluffing the car i'm always running late so yeah bye hey guys so today is still sunday i am gonna go to the park so i know my hair will not hold up so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do with it um because i'm washing it tomorrow so i'm gonna show you i'm just gonna part it i already had my part from when i was doing my wash and go so i'm just running my finger and using my fingers to part to the back of my head it's not gonna be pretty but i don't care i'm getting my other swirly curly handbag and i am going to pull my hair back it's 80 degrees outside so i know and I don't, the, if you allow your hair to frizz up a lot, it's going to be harder to detangle. That's it. So, I'm ready to go. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it.